Hey everybody, my name is Kevin. Welcome back for another video. A Lost Judgment, a DD series, boys. Right into the cutscene, exactly where we last left off. Talking to these new detectives right here. This guy. Yo, Kato is the worst partner ever. Lear getting his ass kicked. What the fuck is this? Shit. You're still quick as a thief. Maybe a little quicker, actually. Well, I'd say thief isn't very fair. It was stealing. Oh, come on. You know I wasn't doing it to line my own pockets, right? We took from the powerful and gave to the powerless. It was altruism. Whatever it uh, yeah, makes you sleep at night, my so guy. Let's just leave it at that. And what's with that lipstick on your, uh, on your goddamn uh, lips and stuff? The place is nice, though. It's kind of familiar, even. It should be. You're our inspiration, Yagami Detective Agency. You guys are the goal. Huh. For sure. So, how about you guys take a load off? If you're ready, I'll give you guys the briefing. Say what? A briefing, man? Let him go over what we know. I've actually got an agenda for today's meeting, too. An agenda? Just roll with it. Give him a chance. All the detective talk has made him go a little overboard. I'm sure it'll work itself out. <laughs> it's all good. Imitation really is the sincerest form of flattery. This guy has agendas and everything. What the hell? Ain't nobody has time for so that. why we called you. We've been seeing a major upward trend with these kinds of cases. What do you think? Care to take a wild guess? I'll give you a hint. It's not a problem you'd find in Kamurocho. So, it's specific to Yokohama? I know. It's gang warfare. The outfits run in Chinatown or at each other's throats, and you guys sort out the aftermath. Well, we did just hear about the Yokohama Ryuma. They're a gang, right? Yeah. Uh, Yokohama Liu, whatever. Bet they're stirring up shit as we speak. Actually, we haven't run into any gang-related activity at all. Really? No, what we're dealing with isn't so conspicuous. I'll just tell you, it's bullying. Bullying? Sometimes parents ask us for evidence to prove their child was bullied. Fairly often, they want these bullies taken to court immediately. Why? They also want to hold the schools accountable. But none of that happens without solid proof. How old are these kids? Most of them are in middle school. Research shows that boys at that age experience a sudden spike in testosterone. This leads to outbursts to assert dominance, compounded by the irrationality of an immature brain. Scientifically, this potent mix of impulses often manifests as bullying. Yeah, I call that puberty. That would apply specifically to boys, right? You're getting cases with girls involved too, aren't you? Ah, with girls, it's more likely rooted in oxytocin, a brain hormone that also has links to bullying. See, oxytocin fosters feelings of attachment, regardless of your gender. For instance, scientists have observed that a mother's oxytocin levels surge when looking at her child. And then it's not always a bad thing, is what you're saying. Indeed. Did you know it was oxytocin that enabled cooperation among our primitive ancestors? What is this? Ancient matriarchs were particularly Are we getting literally a documentary about uh, goddamn genders so and how they bully people? The what the fuck is this, boys? Was oxytocin at work. After all, raising a child in the wilderness would have been impossible alone. However, this intense social need bore a dark side. Individuals who failed to contribute were shunned and eventually condemned. Let's say there was a villager who never put in his fair share. All he did was eat the crops. If that became the norm, nobody would work until the village was on the brink of starvation. And by then it'd be too late. Precisely. That's why these offenders were punished. Primitive as it was, punishment equated to justice. A necessary measure for society's greater good. And societies with a stricter sense of justice were the ones who endured in the long run. To put this into focus, these people are our direct ancestors. So from a science perspective, modern day bullying is just primitive? More like it's hardwired into our nature. Hormones are fucked up, huh? I wouldn't chalk it up to just that. However, we humans do tend to reject what's foreign to us. Whether we're socially awkward or simply misunderstood, 
Those who don't conform are ostracized. That's how it's been since time immemorial. The misfits of civilization are deserving of punishment. All over the world, no matter where or when. This, uh, this is all reference material related to bullying? This guy is like a nerd on bullying or something. I don't know what's going on. Looks like you guys have been doing your homework. Tsukumo kun's the one hitting the books. I'm more in charge of the field work. Makes sense. If he's reading this much, this bullying problem really must be getting bad. Well, I don't know. I think he's just an uh, uh, he's just an addict. Here's another fun fact. While we're at it, an act of betrayal also increases the human urge to punish the offender. In those cases, the act of punishment floods the brain with dopamine, triggering an instant rush of pleasure. In other words, serving justice can feel just as good as eating or having sex. Sure, but that's where we have to draw the line. Justice can't be twisted into joy, or it stops serving its purpose. Yeah, exactly. Very perceptive, Yagamishi. So, back to reality. What's this big case that needs all the manpower? Ah, yes. Our client is the chairman of a private school. He wants us to scour the campus for any and all instances of bullying, leaving no stone unturned. That said, he also requires us to be discreet. How big is this school? Uh, let's see. There are six classes per grade, making 18 in total. So approximately 600 students. Given that, Sugiyoshi and I couldn't possibly bet them alone. We'll be meeting the chairman at a restaurant tonight to lay out the specifics. How about the two of you come join us? We could use the help. Man. <laughs> For a couple of rookies, you sure have it together. You guys are free until dinner. Oh, we already made the reservations in Chinatown, by the way. Think of it as a little welcoming party. The restaurant's name is Kyoinho. If you could meet us there, that'd be great. Sure. We didn't have to do that. I mean, it's nice for them to do that. The thing is, though, they gotta really be in trouble, or the principal's gotta really be in trouble, or something, in order to literally purchase uh, some investigators to do uh, to literally do their thing on a school. Kind of want to figure out what they're selling over there. I am gonna have to fight these dudes. I got a, I got a feeling, boys. Let's try and evade them. Just in case, but uh, they're right next door. All right, let's talk to him. Welcome. What uh, what are you setting? A hero's harvest? Mysterious seeds. Strange, never before seen seeds. They're uh, usable as a material. Yeah, I don't... Uh, $7 for onions? You gotta be shitting me. Yeah, I don't have anything here. I don't need anything. So that's basically all useless. So I'm basically wasting my time here. There's nothing here for me. Let's, uh, let's go, boys. Am I going? Yeah, I think I'm going the right way. I gotta take the taxi. Hopefully, I don't have to fight these goons. I probably will have to. They're probably gonna end up fighting me and stuff. Yeah, they're running at me. Yeah, one of them is running at me, boys. Uh, where's the goddamn taxi at? Right there. All right. Go, go, go. Take the taxi. Right now, I don't have to fight these dudes. Uh, we're gonna go here into Chinatown and this one, North Chinatown. We're going there, spend another 500 yen. Don't want to yeah, waste any time. And there we are. So uh, right across the streets on the other side. That's where we're going to find the... How many people, de uh, bad people are, are in here? What the hell? Kyoinro. Looks like this is it. I'm always getting a phone call. Holy are shit. Here, Yagamishi? We went ahead and sat down. Actually, we're right out front. Excellent. Just give the host my name then. Will do. <laughs> Was this the same guy living in a net cafe not too long ago? He sure has come a long way. Yeah, at this rate, he'll leave us in the dust. He will, will he? Alright, so we do have to enter this place. Let's enter, boys. We got some, oh, we got some money from Without entering a do, restaurant, boys. What do you know? Introduce Yagamishi and Kaito-san, the gentleman I mentioned before. They are, without a doubt, the finest private eyes in Kamurocho. Ah, yes. Tsukumo-san here has certainly been singing your praises. My name is Ukuda. I'm the chairman of a private high school. Serio, if you've heard of it. 
All right, so see uh, the chairman, of course. What do you need us for, though? Isn't that where those kids were from? Oh, okay. Yeah, the ones from earlier. Is something the matter? We actually ran into some of your students today. There must have been seven, eight of them. They were harassing a restaurant worker and recording it on their phone. Oh boy. And I'm guessing you didn't just stand and watch? You bet your ass we did. Had to knock a little sense into those brats. They're kids, my guy. You now we're gonna look very bad. Education? I, perhaps I should pretend not to have heard that. Yeah. Come we're not supposed to beat up kids. Why don't we cut the formal crap and tell it like it is? Because that would be unprofessional, Kaito-san. Chairman, we'd like to start investigating tomorrow. So would you mind sharing any background information you may have? Certainly, yes. Our administration has a very firm stance against bullying. Yet no policy is foolproof, and each situation is unique. We continually ask ourselves, are we taking proper measures to foster a supportive environment? Or if enmity is already prevalent among the student body, are we addressing their concerns promptly enough? I believe the key is prevention. Stop bullying before it starts. And I don't think that's a good idea. The help. Oh, yes. See, as this thought was dawning on me, I happened to cross a sign. Yokohama 99, it read. I visited your webpage, actually, and I discovered just how well-versed you were at this very matter. At that moment, I knew fate was guiding my hand. Sounds like you walked right out of a commercial. In most situations we've dealt with, we knew who the problem was beforehand. All we needed to do was get the evidence. But in this case, we don't even know if there's a bully in the first place. Hence why we called in the reinforcements. So, I take it you have some sort of plan? Of course. We're going to start by spreading hidden cameras throughout the school, anywhere that bullying is most likely to occur. This footage should provide a detailed snapshot of student interaction that would otherwise go unnoticed. Then, after a two-week test run, we'll compile our data and present our initial analysis. Nothing beats a good old-fashioned spy cam. Yes, but if one of these spy cams were found, the whole operation could be compromised. As such, our pair of experts are intimately familiar with the complexities of human behavior, ensuring these cameras remain hidden. <laughs> Damn, you make me want to hire us. This secret stays between you and us, Chairman. Not even the guards or teachers can know. Do I have that correct? You do. I believe the more people who know, the more likely it is this would get out. At any rate. I've heard Yagami-san here has tackled many a difficult case in Kamrojo. I'm glad to have such a reliable detective on the job. You have my full confidence and backing. <laughs> they just keep raising the bar on us, don't they? So, Yagami-shi, if there's anything you'd like to ask the chairman, now's your chance. Hey, good idea. You might learn a thing or two from watching the master at work. Way to put me on the spot, guys. But might as well. Alright, that's time to interrogate him a little bit. Why go so far as to hire detectives? That's my first question. Isn't bullying not that, bi not that big of a trouble? You can deal with it pretty easily. You don't need detectives for that. Could you elaborate on why you're going the detective route for this? Like I said, my goal is to nip any bullying in the bud before it can grow any worse. And it's not enough for the teachers to be on full alert? Unfortunately, no. I'm afraid I can't fully trust whatever they jot down on some report. You mean, what happened to make the chairman doubt the teacher's credibility? Yes, exactly. Does that mean the teachers are in it as well? They're bullying as well, which means it's very bad school in that case. That, that school should shut down entirely if you don't even trust your own teachers, my guy. All right. Well, you mentioned you can't trust your teachers. R uh, regarding our scuffle with the students, if bullying is found, uh, one then. Uh, well, mind if I order pecking duck? Oh, oh my god. All right. You mentioned you can't trust your, uh, your teachers. Okuda-san, you mentioned you couldn't trust your teachers' reports. 
Why is that? Uh, human error, I suppose. Behavior can be ambiguous, and it is difficult to notice every little detail. Your first response seemed to hint at something else. Yes. Yes, I suppose it did. Can you tell me what's going on? Uh, oh, where should I begin? You see, folks, it has been almost four years since the suicide of one of our students. Okay. Poor boy hung himself at home. All right, the victim I mean, of a because he was being bullied? suicide by bullying. Okay, Not got you. On paper, at least, we established a committee to investigate, but they never turned up anything. Neither did the court. Wait, you were taken to court? Yes, one of the student's parents filed a lawsuit. Now there were online postings that may or may not have hinted at bullying. But the prosecution never found substantial evidence, and the court ruled we were in the clear. If I can ask your honest opinion, was there really no bullying, Chairman? I would like to believe there wasn't. But I may have been too far removed from the classroom to say that in good faith. Every day I watch our students come to school, and what I see are young, happy kids. They're all so full of life with bright futures ahead of them. However, around two months ago, we lost contact with one of our student teachers. Everyone assumes it's a mental health issue. The hell? <laughs> Don't tell me he got picked on too. That could have been the case, but I didn't get enough details to say for sure. From what I'd observed, he appeared to be getting along quite well with the students. But I later heard his family had reported him missing. Suicide four years back, a missing teacher. Yeah, this school is no stranger to controversy. Yeah, for sure. School is kind of weirded, uh, weirded me out right here, boys. At the end of the day, I'm asking you to shed light on the darkness that's plagued my school. That is why I went the detective route. All right, that explains a lot. Enough word uh, for now. So um, I, I think I can ask him a couple of things still. Scuffle with our stu your students. Don't care about that. Uh, don't care about that. If bullying is found, what do we do then? In the event we do uncover bullying, what action would you take? Of course, we would provide appropriate counseling in addition to notifying the local authorities. Wouldn't that mean increasing the teacher's workload? Interviewing students, filling out paperwork. That could lead to making people not want to bother reporting it. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. Sad to say, I can't rule out that possibility. The teachers have so much on their plate as it is. I doubt they'd volunteer to look for any extra trouble. That is why we must strike at the root of it. What if you offered your staff a bonus for catching any bullies in the act? <laughs> I know that'd motivate me. Uh, you don't think that it backfire? Actually, it might be worth considering. But the fact of the matter remains. Bullying has no perfect solution. Well, I think it's enough talk. Uh, I think it's definitely enough talk. We, uh, we talked enough about this. I think this conversation has been enlightening. Any thoughts, Tsukumo? Hmm. What else is there? I suppose we'll have to see when we get there. We may have more questions then. That would be fine. All right then. Time to dig in or what? Are you really pretending you waited? You've been nibbling this whole time. <laughs> you call this nibbling? Hey, waiter! I want to place an order. And tell your chef I hope his kitchen can handle this heat. Uh, I take it this place isn't exactly cheap? Don't you worry about that, Yagamishi. The bill's on us. It's your welcoming party, remember? In that case... Uh, excuse me. I'm ready to order too. Alright, so new info has been added to your case file. Suicide at the uh, high school. Person of interest in the updated and uh, we got a case diagnosis as well. So the details... 
we got some suicides going on boys details and all that stuff uh, four years ago and we got the people so we got some good cases in there we did our a good thing i guess i didn't think we needed so to actually uh, interrogate him work. on the kids we beat up that's that not really something we need in. to talk about but the task at hand seems pretty straightforward oh yeah what was that you said about using hidden cameras tomorrow we'll be deciding where to put them we don't have all that many so you know oh and we'll be dressed as ac repairmen what you gonna make us wear uniforms <laughs> Of course. Freshly laundered and ready for duty. As you may recall, only the chairman is aware of our investigation. Exactly. We, we can't go running around in the school in normal clothes. Faculty. Sounds like a plan to me. For now, let's call it a night. <laughs> You've got a point there. In any case, try to make yourselves at home. Apologies in advance if you find our amenities wanting. All right. But well, looks like this is night nice for us, boys. So managing your case files, we uh, have plenty of things right here. What is this? What's good? Uh, what's going on? I've really done it now. What's up, Sugura? We're shopping online. I bought two of the same skateboard by mistake. Huh? How'd that happen? It was a limited edition, only available by lottery. So I pre-ordered it and two websites. Uh, to up my chances, but then I was selected by the lottery on both sides. The second skateboard got delivered today. Uh, can't you just return it or sell it online or something? Hmm. Returns aren't allowed, and yeah, I didn't think about selling it online. Uh, twice his original price, but yeah. come on, if you can sell it for twice the price, then that's even better. May uh, making bank. No way. You can't. I won't allow it. As long as I live, I won't uh, buy res uh, resells, resells, none. Hey, what's wrong? It's rare for you to get this angry. He's totally against reselling now. Because a short while ago, he was trying to buy this rare figure and couldn't get it. So he had to buy from a reseller. Oh, I didn't know. I bought a limited edition copy of a game at three times its original price. Oh, I feel you and I won, man. I'm kind of, all I'm always going to be forced... Soon enough, I'll be forced to actually pay triple the price for a goddamn console at this point because the Xbox never available. Holy shit. Uh, I didn't want to give in and support the stupid resales industry, but I just had to, ha to have it. Hey, can you understand my pain? Nah, sorry. I don't get it. You see why I can't figure out what to do with these skateboards? Sugeishi, why don't you just uh, let Yagamishi use it? And I'm sure it'd be uh, handy with uh, to uh, get around. Huh? Give it to you, Yagami. Yeah, that's yeah, not a bad that's... idea. Would you actually use it? I really don't know what to do with it uh, since I can't sell it, and they huh? won't take uh, returns. Yeah, I don't mind it for free, I guess. Yeah, so they're just gonna give it me. Uh, give it to me. <laughs> there we go, blue trial, boys. Yeah. But right, I was just gonna skip this. What? What's going on? Huh? What's wrong? Is in front of the station as the five-year anniversary limited color love star figure. Oh my god. Okay, dude. Yeah, whatever. All right, whatever. It doesn't matter. That's just some side stuff right here. Nah. You want me to buy it for you? I'm not buying shit for you. The reseller is already on his way, so you can go uh, there now. Yeah. Really? Sure, I might as well just use my new skateboard right away. Side case. All right. Well, it looks like this is what the side quests are all about, boys. Me skateboarding to a reseller and paying for uh, for his shit. Based on the time reseller is last post, he's gonna be there in just three minutes. Gotcha. Okay, I just have to get there before then. Counting on you. Here's some money. Twenty thousand. What the fuck? Twenty thousand. All right, Yagasami. Do your best. Remember, you, can, uh, you can't skateboard on the sidewalk, so be careful about your yeah. route. Got it. Uh, here goes. Not can skateboard? The hell? I'm not gonna skateboard. The fuck was that? I can't skateboard, boys? Alright, let's go, boys. Skateboarding. Yeah. Here we go, boys. We got this. We got some points right here. Let's go, boys. Alright, let's go. 
Go, 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 go. Go faster, faster, faster. We gotta get there in time, boys, for the side quest. So this is what a side quest looks like, I guess. It's part of the main story of recently introduced. They're introducing us to the side quest stuff, but... Alright, so I gotta get these... Uh... Whoa, 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 whoa. Get this shit right now. Come on, dog. Come on. Get it right now. Get the fucking shit. There we go. I don't know why I didn't... Uh... There we go. Go faster. Go faster. Accelerate. 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 Let's go, buddy. Accelerate. All right. We're going there. Oh, shit. Almost fell right there. I fell on my ass right there, boys. Where is it exactly? Am I even going the right way? I, I, I don't know. I'm actually not even going the right way. You know what? It's going to be better on foot. I'm going to be faster on foot than on the skateboard, to be honest, boys. I'm not going to lie here. All right. Let's go, go, go. Go, 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 boys. Jump. Boom. Jump. We're gonna make it faster if we jump right there like that, boys. All right, go, go, go. Oh, shit. Let's go. We're right there. So we gotta go upstairs or something, I think. I think that's where we gotta go. Never mind. We're not supposed to go there. We gotta run for it. Run for it, boys. Somebody's waiting for us. Wait. Is he over here? Oh, shit. All right. He's gotta be on that shop over there. It's on that shop somewhere, boys. Oh, there he is. Oh my god, Excuse I had me. to literally run there. I heard you had a limited edition love star figure. Yeah, we've got one. But it will cost you. This is 20,000 for that? That would be like 2,000 for 2 Canadian dollars, 2,000 Canadian dollars for this shit, this little figure. You got to be shitting me, man. Uh, sure, I'll take it. Pleasure doing business. My goodness. Oh, I, what now? I'm late to pick up my figure. Are you the reseller to Sumo I was talking about? Give me that figure and go. What? You're interfering with the important business affair. Bullshit. First come, first serve, bitch. I'm gonna give it. I'm not gonna give it up. Well then. I'll have to take it by force. No oh, try me. How valuable is this thing, man? I just bought uh, bought it for goddamn 2k. And you're telling me you want it as well? Alright. Whatever, man. Go! Oh, shit. Alright. He's actually blocking my stuff. Go! Boom! Alright. Boom! Just like that, boys. Boom! Alright. Just like that. And we're about to kick your ass, buddy. Got you. Alright. That, that, that is done for. We got 5k from that. Interesting. Thanks to you, Yagame. Uh, I got an amazing collectible and I didn't have to fork over the money to a reseller. Hey. hey, you want it so bad he attacked me. It really is so in demand. Yep. Oh, yeah. I guess the e Ibisu Pond owner wasn't in the no. Uh, no. Uh, but there is a very rare color sample whose production line was cancelled. So this color has never been available to the public. There is only two of these in the entire world. Oh. Okay. It's pretty unique. On the markets, it fetches at the price of uh, around 300000 What the fuck, man? Are you serious? Really? For one figure? <sighs> so, you, so you see why a reseller would be a disparate for it. <laughs> yeah, such a splendid item does not belong in the hands of a reseller. But someone who truly appreciates it. I owe you one. It goes to show it was a fantastic thing that I kept uh, sugary from reselling its skateboard. It enabled me to buy this. With uh, this, I'm free to focus on work. I'm sure uh, the Zero High mission will be a success. I'm sure it will be, buddy. That was something. I should call it a night. Uh, sure. Yeah, that was definitely something, boys. Holy. Running after goons like that for that particular reason. I don't, that's kind of weird. Ridding me out a little bit. Can I go here? Or can I? do I have to talk to you? Or... What's in there, actually? Oh, it's just decoration, I guess. All right, uh, let me just go ahead and uh, call it a night right here, boys. Let's rest up. Yagamishi, remember those uniforms I mentioned yesterday? You'll need to put one on before we go. They should be a perfect fit. <laughs> After all, there's no information I can't find. Body measurements included. 
Yeah, I don't doubt that. You've never been one to miss a detail. Alright, so about disguises, you'll need to mask your identity with a disguise at certain points in this history. To use a disguise, open the uh, items app. Yeah, I've already figured that one out. Now I'm good. Wait, what? Oh god, it's gonna force me to go into the thing. Alright, well, we're gonna stop it right here, boys. Remember, if you like and subscribe and enjoy the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.